The trend of Satan conjoined with man from the beginning and in place still is as follows. 1. Doubt God's word. Yea, hath God said? Genesis 3.1. 2. Contradict God's word. Ye shall not surely die. Genesis 3.4. 3. Replace God's word. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Genesis 3.5. The Lord Jesus ratified to the church with his words in the New Testament parables that this revelation stands true regarding Satan's moving. 1. Steal God's word. Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word. Mark 4.15. 2. Choke God's word. Choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Mark 4.19. 3. Mingle with tares. His enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Matthew 13, 25. In that part, um, I find an amazing structure. And we can see Satan using it in the beginning, and we can also see him continuing to do it today. I just want to cover this part really quickly. Satan has three things that he does. One, he gets you to doubt God's word. Two, contradict God's word. And three, replace God's word. That's what we saw him do in the very beginning. That's the structure that he uses for creating these counterfeit Bibles. Every criminal has a modus operandi. That's right. And that's what we're seeing here. Yeah. He is a creature mm. who has creaturely ways and creaturely habits mm. and creaturely wisdom. Okay. So he has structured how to make man fall away from the living word. Mm. It allows us to see how he operates back then from the beginning and see even how he's operating now. And Jesus pointed that out so clearly. If we have the eyes to see, he says he's still doing those same three things. Steal God's word, choke God's word, mingle with tares. Now that mingle with tares part is from Matthew chapter 13, the parable of the sower. When you have time, you got to really pray for God to reveal to you what he's talking about in that section of the Bible, because it's a perfect example of what we have here. The actual word of God being mingled with all these counterfeit versions and everybody believing, oh, it's the same because it looks the same. Exactly. Let me explain something. We all know that historically the Bible was aimed at for extinguishing. Mm. World potentates made it their move yep. to stamp out the Bible. Silence it, burn it, just get it away from people. You're right. There came a point in history where that became impossible for Satan to achieve. Mm. And that actually was when the King James Bible came forth. Mm -hmm. So in switching his modus operandi from extinguishing it became mingling with tares. Right. He couldn't completely erase it, so he figured out another way to deceive people. Instead of removing it, he just added a whole bunch of fake ones along with it. That's right. Okay. So, the father has sown good seed. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And, <laughs> an, and enemy it, an enemy hath done this. you got to read that part for yourself. Tares oh. amongst the wheat. Yes. That's right. 